Hi guys, good evening. Hello. Good evening, good evening. Hello teacher, good evening. Hi Guillermo, good evening. Let's see, uh, I see online connected Erica. Hello Erica. Hello, hello. Hello teacher, how are you? I'm, I'm doing fine, thank you. Thank you very much for asking. What about you? How is it going? Excellent, excellent. Very okay. happy for, for learning more English. <laughs> okay, that's great. Perfect, that's cool. Yes, the purpose is that we practice more English, correct. Okay, pretty cool. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Hey, where is that picture that you have in your profile? Zoom profile, where is that place? Is in Guatemala. Ah, Guatemala. Okay, Guatemala is pretty beautiful. What place in Guatemala? Remember the name? Uh, this year, January. Mm, I don't get the name. I don't get it. Okay, maybe later you can send it in the WhatsApp or in the chat about the place, the place's name in Guatemala. It's pretty cool. Okay, good. Very creative. Mercedes, hello, Mercedes. How is it going? Hi, teacher. Hi, good evening. How is it going to you? Good? All right, pretty cool. Okay, Christina, I'm a Christina, hello. How is it going? How are you, I'm a Christina, good? Uh, check, check the microphone or the speaker because we don't hear, we don't listen. Isabel, hello Isabel, how is it going tonight? Isabel, hello. Guillermo, what's up? What about you, Guillermo? Doing good? Yes, hello. Teacher, I'm good. good night. Good night. I'm at home. Okay. I'm at home right now. Perfect. I'm driving to uh, Cahoot La Porte, yeah, to San Salvador. Oh, and I'm very really? tired, teacher. <laughs> I can imagine. But, uh, right, right here. No problem. Okay. That's a long way from Acahutla to San Yeah. Wow. How many hours yeah. driving? Uh, one, one hour, 50 minutes. Almost two, two hours. Almost okay. two hours. Yeah. That's it. But thank you for joining. That's a great about you. Gilbert. Hello, Gilbert. Great to see you. Uh, Jacqueline, hello. Hello, guys. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, Jacqueline and Gil. Hello, hello, teacher. Good evening. Hey, hello. Good evening. Yes. At the beginning of the class, we say good evening. Good night. No, good night is when the class is, is finished. Okay, pretty cool. Great to see you guys. The second class of your model. That's great. We are going to share the screen to begin with the class uh, already, okay? Uh, did you check the Google Drive link? Did you check it? Does it work? Yes or no? Did you check the link? Guys, in the WhatsApp group? Sí, yo sí lo vi, pero este, como que no me dejaba entrar. Sin ah, really? Mm, that's curious. Because uh, this is what you should see. You should be able to download this uh, presentation that is from yesterday, from last night. Okay, try the link whenever you have time. I'm gonna send it to you in the chat in this moment. 
So you can have it in the Google, in the WhatsApp, and in this one too, okay? There is a link, check the chat, copy, save it, and try it out. Copy a link, uh, guárdelo y también lo prueba para ver si funciona. You should be able to use it. When you click on it, okay. uh, you should see, yeah, it's working. See? You should see this. And you can download the presentation. Okay. Let's see. Today is a class number two. Let me find your session for today. We are going to continue with the intermediate model two material. Okay, very good. That is the model, pre intermediate model two. Okay, let's see. Uh, this opportunity, Gilbert, can you read uh, the indications uh, for the class, please? Gilbert? Hello, hello. Gilbert, calling Gilbert. Be ready, guys. Be ready to participate. Remember, if you participate, hello, it's going to be better. Okay, Gilbert, can you read the indications? Some indication first. Your complete name in Zoom platform example. Miguel Antonio Lopez, a camera on all the time during the meeting, a quiet place for a better concentration, connect mm -hmm. at 8 p.m. at 9 p.m. for five minutes early before the class. Your class is at eight, only that. Okay, perfect. B. Be attentive. Be attentive. Correct. Be attentive. Mm -hmm. No distraction. Home, TV, radio, etc. etc. Mm -hmm. Participation is always important. Important. Okay. Participation is always important. Remember that. Thank you. Thank you so much, Gilbert, for reading the indications. Okay. Hi, teacher. Hi, guys. Hey, hello, who is talking? Uh, Jorge. Hey, what yeah. about that cat? <laughs> What's that? Is uh, that a speaker or what's that? Um, avatar. Ah, that's an avatar. And sí. an avatar. We say and. An avatar. Okay. It's kind of funny. Curious. Okay, that's cool. All right, Susana, hello, welcome. Welcome. Hello, hello. Hi. Okay, hello. Hi. welcome, guys. Okay, and let's see who else is joined. Oh, no, oh, no, so only Susana. Okay, remember 80% in your assistance in the, in the classes, and the connection is 60 minutes. Your camera, use the camera so we can see each other during the whole class. Okay, that's it. Uh, whenever you have questions, doubts uh, regarding the topics or something else about the class, make a question, right? Make your questions. Okay, and uh, that's not important. In the four areas, area number one, the one that you want to practice more is, huh? Number one? Speaking. 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 Number Speaking. two. Speaking. Hmm? Grammar. Grammar and practice. Practice. Okay, practice. practice. You do more practice uh, in your house, okay? Because the class is one hour only. It's pretty short. And the tools. Okay, guys. And welcome to Printer Meeting Model 2. We are going to begin with this. Yesterday, we were mentioning about... Remember, adverse, adverse of frequency. Yeah, we use them. In real conversations, we use them. Okay, uh, Susana, 
Can you read it, please? Frequency adverbs. Frequency adverbs are words to use to tell about the frequency. 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 We do something. We do something. Okay, remember this from yesterday. Use. Use often. Forever to make question. Uh, according with the pictures. According with the picture. Okay, guys. In this moment, you're going to give me the two options for the questions. Look at the picture. Check. Check the picture. What is the question that you can do if you use often? What is the question that you can make when using often? Example, please. Question with often. What often do Correct. you Correct. How often? Yes. How often is correct or not correct? No. Yeah, it's correct. 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 That is the way. Correct. That is the way. Correct. How often? Uh -huh. What is next? Look at the picture. Make the question according how, with the picture in the in the screen. How often visit? Plus bear. A visit. 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 Uh -huh. My family. My um, grandparents. My, my, your, better. Your, your, your family. grandparents. Correct. Your abuelos in English? Grandfather. 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 Abuelos. Grandfather. abuelos. Grandfather. Grand grandparents. Grandparents. Correct. Grandparents. His abuelos in English. Correct. Very good. How often visit your grandparents? Okay. The question is partially correct, but we are missing a very important part for this question. What is missing? Que falta? What um, is missing? How often? Verb. Uh, but the verb is visit. The verb is already there. Oh, okay. You, how often do you visit? Do you? How often? Do you? Do you? Do you the wish? auxiliary do, correct. Do in the subject, you. That's right. Okay, remember, for um, questions in the simple present, we have to use, we have to use the auxiliary, do. Remember, the auxiliary do. Okay, pretty cool. What is the correct question with ever? If you want to use ever. Uh -huh. uh, let me see. Maybe Mercedes. Maybe. Do you uh, ever? Yeah. Uh -huh. Can you? Do you, can you ever? Make it? Do you ever? Correct. The auxiliary is first. Do you ever? Do you ever? Correct. Visit. Visit. Your grandparents. Correct. That's it. You got it right. Yes. Okay. Very good. Both questions are correct. Uh -huh. One question with how often, and the next question with if. Correct. Do you ever visit your grandparents? Guys, question for you. Do you ever visit your grandparents? Uh -huh. Answer? Possible answers. Affirmative? Yes. Yes, I do. Correct. The negative is? Yes, I don't. No, no I don't. No. Uh -huh. Ah, okay. Sí, porque si me dice, uh, no, yes. Sí, no. No, see. Sí. Okay. Affirmative, affirmative, negative, negative. No. I, no, I don't. Okay. okay, very good. That's it. Pretty good. Let's try the second picture. 
All right, let's see. I'm gonna ask Anna Cristina what is the question about this picture using often? Uh -huh. Anna Cristina, using often, how is the question about this picture? Using often. Ana Cristina, no. Maybe Isabel or Carmen. Can you make the question regarding the picture you are seeing? Jose, let's see. Uh -huh. Maybe Jorge, Susana. Um, similar to the first question. Pretty similar. You see nothing. How, how often practice? How, how often how practice? Often, how do, do you play? play? Do you... Baseball. Baseball. Uh, okay. Do you practice? Yes. Okay. Do you? Don't forget hey. the auxiliary. Don't forget the auxiliary. This is for simple press. How often do you? Do you practice? Play. Practice? You practice? Uh, uh, what baseball. is the sport? Baseball. Correct. Baseball. 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 How often do you practice uh, baseball? Let's see. Um, Jacqueline, how often do you practice uh, baseball? Jacqueline? Uh, maybe Oscar? I, Jacqueline? I practice. I, uh -huh. I practice Jacqueline? sometimes. Uh, I practice sometimes. Mm, the order, the order, the order. Remember, I, uh -huh. check, how often? Frequency adverbs, I, I often, or I often is correct, or as you want, I como quiera. I sometimes, I often. Uh, what is the verb? Open. The verb is? Open. No. This is the frequency uh, adverb. What is the verb, guys, in the sentence? Practice. What is the verb? Practice. Practice, practice correct. I sometimes yeah. practice. Complement. Complement, complement. Baseball. Baseball, correct. Baseball. That's it. This is the answer. Correct. What is the question using ever for the picture? Using ever. Jorge? Yes? Oh, uh, uh, I have a question, teacher. Question. Correct. Go okay. ahead. Um, always uh, use uh, auxiliary do uh, Mm, because use present uh, um, uh, time or time present. Ah, oh, the time expressions you you mean? See, si. always um, use do. In questions, yes. In questions, yes. But what is the what is? The frequency adverb that you see in the question. What is the frequency adverb? Never, uh, always, sometimes. What is the frequency adverb that you see? Uh, oh, hi. How, how, however. Uh, the frequency adverb for the questions is going to be often, all the time. All right. This is like the general, the general question. How often do you eat sushi? How often do you go to the movies? How often uh, do you work on Saturdays, etc. Okay, remember, how often is the general question for this type of questions? Okay, how often? Okay. Often is always like this. Siempre va always. Often, sorry. Siempre va often. Uh -huh. 
because you cannot ask how always que tan siempre practicas baseball no right that's incorrect the correct is que tan uh -huh. no no a menudo. Tan a menudo o que tan seguido yes okay but often is all the time for the questions using the. All right? Okay. Yes? Okay. How often, how often, how often, how often? All the time. Okay. Question uh, with ever. What is the question using ever um, in this picture? Using this picture as a reference. Did you ever to practice baseball? Yeah, correct. Do you ever... Huh? Do you practice ever practice baseball. baseball? Correct. Baseball. Uh, baseball. Huh? That's it. Okay, but that is for question that is direct. What about if I want to ask about this boy? Si quiero preguntar si él que tan a menudo practica. ¿Cómo sería ahí? Yes, Anna Cristina. Do you ever practice? Ajá. Does, does, does he, he ever practice? Does he, he next? ever correct? The same. Practice, practice. practice. baseball. baseball. Ah, okay, cool guys. Very good. That depends. Depends on the question. Si me pregunta a mí, me va a preguntar cómo. Hey, teacher. Number Do you one. ever practice baseball? Do you ever practice baseball? Uh, no, I, I never. I never practice baseball. I never. ¿Sí? Frequency ever. Pero si, le va a si, si me va a preguntar a mí por él, me pregunta cómo. Does he ever practice baseball? Uh, I don't know. I I should ask him. No sé, debería preguntarle a Elbert. Okay. Sí? Do and does. Does is because the, sí. the third person. Correct. He. That's it. Okay, pretty good. Jorge, yes? I see uh, your, your hand that is raised. Teacher, is correct. I seldom practice baseball. I seldom, um, in affirmative sentence, yes. But in question, no. Affirmative sentence, yes. I seldom, okay. I seldom practice baseball. Hey, seldom. What is seldom? In what is seldom? Rara huh? vez. Ah, it's like uh, not many times. No muchas veces. Ah, seldom. Guys. Whenever you have doubts, cuando tenga dudas, copy the word. Ah, I'm going to open the dictionary. See, Cambridge Dictionary. I paste the word. Pongo la palabra que quiero investigar. It says seldom. What is seldom? See? Seldom is adverb. an adverb. adverb. Es adverbio. Ajá. We can use it as a frequency adverb. What is the pronunciation? Seldom. Ajá. Seldom. Can you repeat it, guys? Seldom. 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 Correct. I seldom practice baby. Is correct. Is correct. Yes. Okay. Pretty good. Pretty good. Let's continue with, with this picture. Question with with often. How do you often practice? Uh, uh, swim. Ah, swimming. Swimming is a sport. Swimming, yeah, swimming. Practice swimming. Uh, swimming. Okay. Can you read it again, please? Can you read the question one more time? How do you often practice? How do you often practice? How do you often practice? Um, 
let's hear. No. You often practice swimming. Often practice Correct. Correct. swimming. How? Do you often? How do you often? Not correct. Because how it's... often? Correct. How often do you practice often. swimming? Yes. Do you practice swimming? That's it. Okay. Now is correct. Pretty good. Remember, after how, we use the frequency adverb. How often? And after the frequency adverb is the auxiliary. Después del frequency adverb, bail. The auxiliary for questions. Yeah, correct. Question with, uh, with ever. With ever. Question with ever. Uh, maybe, uh, let's see, Javier. Guillermo, maybe. Uh -huh. How is the question with ever? Can you make it? Do you ever practice swimming? Ah, okay. Do, Do you, you ever, ever practice, practice swimming? Is correct. What about about hair? About the girl? Does uh, does he uh, often uh, does he ever practice uh, swimming? Ah, uh, okay. But it's a girl. It's a girl, not a boy. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Does he? Correct. Does she practice? Does she? Does she practice swimming? I never. Does she ever practice swimming? Yeah. Yeah, correct. Does she ever practice, practice swimming? Swimming. swimming? Now is correct. Guys, remember. For often, don't forget do. How often do you? How often does she? But if you're going to use ever, the auxiliary, do or does, is in the first place. Okay? We studied this a little bit yesterday, and we are reviewing. Estamos repasando. We are reviewing today this. Okay? Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Next. Um, okay. Yesterday, we were mentioning about the frequency adverbs. Number one is number always. one always. always always what is what is the percentage uh, for always what is the percentage one hundred percent one hundred percent that means that you do a specific activity all the time uh, hey guys how often do you take a shower always always. Ah, complete, but complete. Every day. But complete. I always take I always. a shower. Correct. I, I, always, I always take a shower. Take a shower. Okay. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Okay, maybe. good. Ah, maybe. <laughs> maybe always. Tal vez siempre. Okay, got you. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. And uh, next adverb is? Usually. Usually, what is the percentage for usually? 90%. Ah, okay. It's it's decreasing. Every time is decreasing. And next? 70%. Okay. 70%. Okay, even it's going down, Baba Hamba, right? And next? Sometimes. 15. Sometimes. Sometimes is the? 15. The half. 15. The half. La mitad, right? 50%. Correct. Next. Hardly ever. Hardly ever. Hardly ever. That is a percentage 10%. Okay. 10%. Mm -hmm. And? Never. Never is? 0%. Zero. Zero. You never. You never. Okay. Tell me, tell me an activity that you never do. For example, me. I never, I never eat conchas. I don't like conchas. Um, and you, uh, Carmen, an activity that you never do? Um, I never play basketball. Ah, okay. Any, anytime. 
zero. Never. never. Uh, Erica and you, an activity yet that you never do. Erica? I I never eat fish. Fish? You don't like fish? I don't mm. like it. So I love fish. I like it. Delicious. Fried fish. You don't like fried fish? No, don't like mm. Oh, okay. So you never eat it. You never eat it. Oscar, an activity that you never do in your life. Uh, I I I never I never visit a, a Arena del Tasumal. Ah, okay. All right. You never visit uh, ruins. Mm -hmm. Ah, but you should, you should. Yes. Uh -huh. You should. Okay, Susana and you, an activity that you never do. I never um, travel to Paris. Ah, okay, okay, that's right. Okay, pretty good. Jorge, what about you? Activity that you never do, anytime. Uh, microphone, the microphone is muted, muted, it's muted. Okay, thank you. I never take a shower. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, no comments. Okay, let's continue, uh, guys. <laughs> okay, better that the class is, is online, right? <laughs> uh -huh. I never fly in the airplane. Okay, I never fly airplanes in general. I never fly airplanes. Okay. All right. Okay, it's cool. Correct. Pretty cool. Okay, that's it. Let's see. Um, -da -da -da. Carmen, what do we have in this part? Can you read it? Carmen? Sorry, teacher. Can you read this part, please? Can you help me out? Okay, okay, teacher. Um... Formula. Formula for uh, simple present and adverse of frequency. Okay, number one, we use? Subject uh -huh. plus frequency adverb plus verb plus complement. Okay, guys, if you follow the rule, you will not be lost. No se va a perder if you follow the rules. Si sigue la regla, no problem. Uh, example, please, Ana Lucia. Example number one. Hi, teacher. Carlos this. never plays soccer. Carlos never plays soccer. Never soccer. Correct. Where is the verb? ¿Dónde está el verbo? Where is the verb? Play. After. Después de. Frequency the frequency of okay very good uh next uh, oscar what is the next example this one uh, sorry can you read it just read it solo leal just read it sophie uh, so so well goes to the church. To the church. Okay, Sophie always goes to the church. Okay, thanks. Very cool. Uh, Albert, what is the next one? This example. No, because my, my mother often cooks the dinner. Cooks the dinner. And finally, we have? I always do, I always do my... Work. I always ah. do you my homework. I hope so. I hope so. I really hope so. Espero que sí. All right. Good. But notice, not them. When you use third person, you have to use the rule. Check. Simple present rule. What is the verb? Place. Place. Why place? Because you're using Carlos. Si estuviera usando I, the verb goes. Only play. play. Only play, correct. Only play. Okay. Simple. Only play. That's it. Because of the simple present rule. 
Sophie. The verb is? Go. Correct. My mother often cooks. This is the third person. But in this one is normal. Check. I always do my homework. Okay. Pretty cool. Questions at the moment? Any any type of question? No question, teacher. All right. Okay. So that means I can continue. Let's see. And the topic in this part is pretty similar. Don't worry. No se preocupen. It's pretty similar. The title says, ¿qué dice el título? Title, adverbs. Adverbs. Adverbs Adver of, of frequently. Los. Verb to be. Los. Ah, okay, verb to be. Guys, what are the three forms of the verb to be in English? Remember? The three forms. Verb to be. Uh, um, um, is, is, are, is, is and are. are. Those are the three. Good. And we can use the frequency adverbs combined with with the verb to be. Do you check, uh, do you see a verb to be in these examples? Do you see the verb to be? Guys? Do you see the verb to be in these ones, in estos? No. No, right? We don't have. Okay. No verb to be. But in this case, we have to follow this formula when using adverse of frequency plus the verb to be. What is the formula? Subject. Subject. Plus the verb to be in the second place. In the third place? Plus adverb of frequency. Mm -hmm. And finally? Plus the complement. The complement. Okay. Uh, here it says, aquí dice, the verb to be goes before the adverbs of frequency. Uh, what is before? ¿Qué es before? What is before? Antes. Correct. They go before. Bird to be goes before the adverse of frequency. Mm. Uh -huh. They go before. Remember. Van antes. Examples. Carlos is always, always busy. busy. Uh, Carlos está siempre Always ocupado. Wow, okay, check. Uh, the word in in purple represents the verb to be. And in orange, in orange is frequency. The other frequency, correct. Number two. Sophie, Sophie and, I and I are I never late. Are never late. Ah, okay. Sophie and I are, are never late. Ah, okay. What is the meaning of this? ¿Qué significa? Sofía y I are never late. Sofía y yo nunca llegamos tarde. Nunca llegamos. Hey, teacher, but the verb to be is not llegar. El verbo to be no es llegar. Ah, that's true. Estamos. Yes. But that is in the English context. It is like that. Así es en inglés. Okay. Don't ask me why. No me pregunte por qué. But, but it is like that. Así es. Okay, good. Next. I'm sometimes bored. I'm Ah, that's true. I am sometimes bored in meetings. Bored. Especially in meetings. Bored. Mm -hmm. What is bored? Bored is this. Aburrido. Aburrido. Pesado, no. Aha. Aburrido, yes. Bored. That's it. And finally. They aren't they usually aren't patient for waiting. For waiting. Okay, I what is the meaning? Waiting. What is the meaning of this one? Ellos están usualmente. Uh, Ellos están? They are? Ellos no. Es Ellos no están, perdón. Sorry. Ellos están usualmente pacientes uh -huh. por estar. Ah, okay, good. Very good. Check. 
the verb to be can be in negative, not only in affirmative way. Correct. They aren't usually patient or waiting. Ellos usualmente no, es, no son. ¿Qué? Pacientes. Para, para esperar. Esperar. Para esperar. Correct. For waiting. Para esperar. Correct. Okay, very good. Check. The examples are very clear. Now it's time to practice. Let's continue with, with this part. And indications, let's answer the, the next, next question. Questions. Okay. Let's practice. Let me open this is small exercise. All right. Let's see. Um, Isabel, Isabel, hello, Isabel. Are you in the class? Are you pending? Are you attentive? Isabel? Uh, hi, Isabel. No, yes. Ah, okay. Javier? Maybe Javier is pending. Huh? Okay, Javier, tell me one number to open the box. Number seven. Seven. Javier, make uh, the question uh, to Ana Cristina. Seven. Ana okay. Cristina, do you ever go to the park? Ana Cristina, do you ever go to the park? Ana? Hello. Okay. Uh, maybe Erika. Erika, do you ever go to the park? Erika. Hey, guys, what's going on? Uh huh. Maybe uh, Susana, would you like to answer? Hi. I um, <laughs> I sometimes uh, no yes I do uh, I sometimes go to the park. Ah, okay, uh, pretty good. Good. Okay, you answer because the question is close. Con una pregunta cerrada, hay dos opciones. Option one. Yes, I do. Yes, yes I do. In the negative, option two. No, I, no, I, no, don't. I don't. I don't, correct. But you can complement your answer. How would you practice more? ¿Cómo practicaría más? Diciendo, yes, I do. No, I don't. Or using the adverse of frequency. Both, con las dos. Ajá, uh -huh. Susana said, Ah, yes, I do. I sometimes go to the park. Very good. That is the correct answer. Okay, Susana, pick, pick a number and make the question for one of your classmates, please. Pick number a number. Number five. Number five. Okay. And the what? classmate who is going to answer is? Who is going to answer? Uh, Albert Martinez. Albert. Okay. Be ready, Albert. Okay. Susana, read the question to Albert. Hello, Albert. How, how often do you see your sister watch TV? I... I don't live with my sister. <laughs> okay. All right. You have an idea. But check, guys. Check. Okay. I'm going to teach you how to scan the question. Le voy a enseñar cómo escanear la pregunta. Okay. Can you read it one more time, Susana? Read it one more time. Okay. How often, do, how often does your sister watch TV? Albert, what is the auxiliary in the question? Um, the auxiliary in the question. The, Guys, 
correct is does. He, Susana is asking you about your sister, not about you. She is asking okay. about your sister. So, if Susana is asking about your sister, the answer should be, la respuesta debería ser, huh? the she. Correct. Uh, but she, my sister, huh? Check. Aquí está. My my sister, my sister, my sister, which other use other frequency, use average frequency because uh -huh. in the question, since often, la pregunta okay. tiene often, other frequency, my always, always, always. Ne never, or never, any other, cualquiera, okay. Huh? Watch TV. Always. Watch, Always. Watch TV. Always. Watch TV. Watch TV. Okay, but it's incorrect. It's incorrect. It's the mala. Yes. Why? Por qué? Why? Why is incorrect yet? Porque todavía está mala. Guys. The part del verbo to be. My sister is always watching. Uh, no, what? the verb to be. Uh, letter S in the verb. Watch us, yeah. Correct. No, what? In this case, no verb to be. In esta parte, Watch. no verb to be. What is missing is the rule. Yes. The part is the rule. Yes. yes. <laughs> because it's simple present. Cuando usamos simple present, I watch, you watch, she watches. She watches. watches. Ah, okay. Pero teacher, what about if I want to use the verb to be? Y si quiero usar el verb to be. Ajá. Uh -huh. Si quiero usar el verb to be. ¿Cómo sería? Ah, uh, how do I say? ¿Cómo digo? Um, mi hermana siempre está viendo tele. My sister is sometimes watch my TV. sister R R e e is a third person third person is my sister e is uh -huh. watch TV is a uh, other frequency always always, always. always. watches uh, watching TV yes se puede poner watching TV o puede poner my sister is always on the TV. On the TV. Para no usar ING, porque no estamos viendo ING. Pero podemos usar eso. My sister is other frequency always on the TV. Now you have both options. Ahora están las dos opciones. Check. Other frequency, simple present, and with the verb to be. Okay, pretty cool, pretty cool. Let's continue okay. practicing uh, with other questions. Let's see, um, Jacqueline, pick a number and select one of your classmates for the question. Number two. Number two. Uh, and the classmate is going to be? Whom? Quien? Gilbert. G Gilbert. No, Gilbert has already participated. Ya participó. Different. Mm -hmm. Let's switch. Cambiemos. Check. Check there. Uh-huh. Hey. Who? Oh, Toby. Uh, Toby. Uh, Erika, Erika Rodriguez. Ah, okay. Read the question to Erika. Erika, hello. Hello. Do you, <laughs> hi Erika, do you ever go to the park? Hey. 
Can you recap? I do no. I I do go to the park. No, I do always go to the park. Okay, okay. You can answer to begin para comenzar. Yes, I do or no, I don't. Yes, yes, I do. Yes, I do. Okay, that is the first part. Next, complement your answer. Yes. Complement la respuesta I, with. I uh, I always I I always go to the park. That's it. Pretty good. Perfect. You don't need more. No necesita más. Ah, yes, I do. I always go to the park. That's it. Pretty good. Cool, cool. Next, uh, let's see. Hey, Jorge left. I was going to tell Jorge to make the question. Oscar, pick a number and make the question to Mercedes. Number, number, Oscar. Uh, number 10. Number 10, read the question to Mercedes. Mercedes, do you ever play tennis? Uh -huh, Mercedes. I don't, I never play tennis. Perfect, perfect, very good. All right. Javier, next number. Pick a number and pick a classmate. Agarre un número y un classmate for the question. Okay, number number four. Four. Classmate. Mm, Isabel Rutia. All right. Read. Read the question. How often do you go to the church? Isabel? Hey, Isabel is not in class. Um, maybe Susana. Susana, uh, how often do you go to the church? Uh, I often... Uh, no. No, no, I use, see, I often go to the church one, one, two, no, twice, twice a week. Uh, okay, but take a moment. Use mm -hmm. adverb frequency or use expression time but not together okay not together it's your answer can be with adverb frequency or it can be with time expression or about together not together okay only one option i often go to the church is correct pero si quiere decir voy a la iglesia cada domingo in english guys I go to the church every Sunday. Correct. Sunday. I go to the church every Sunday. Sunday. Every every Sunday. That's it. Okay, but not together. Remember, you can use adverse of frequency or expression time. Every every is another expression time. Correct. Pretty cool. Carmen, pick a number and pick a classmate to make the uh, question. Uh, the number three? No, the number three. And the classmate? Carmen? To whom? I can. Oscar, um, make the question to Oscar. All right, Carmen, can you read the question you, to Oscar? Oscar, do you ever eat sushi? Do you ever eat sushi? Yes, I do. I, I ever eat sushi. I, yes, I, I do. I, yes, I do. I, uh... Frequency others, remember. You need to... I, Frequency address. 
I sometimes, I sometimes eat sushi. Ah, really? You like sushi, Oscar? Really? You like sushi? Yes. Uh, can you recommend places for eating sushi? Can you recommend places where to eat? Sushi de camarones y camarón con aguacate. No sé cómo I don't know. I mean, I mean the places. Places, ah, places, the specific places, where to eat. Eh, eh, sushito restaurant. Sushito. Ah, too expensive for me. Too expensive. It's expensive, sushito. It's, yeah. it's expensive and not very delicious, in my opinion. Another yeah. place? Guys, can you recommend places for eating sushi? I love sushi. A lot. Sushi King. Correct. That is my favorite place. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. I love Sushi King. I wouldn't change it. No lo cambiaría. Sushi King is the best. Okay. Pretty good. Pretty cool. Okay. We have more questions. Uh, tell me a number. I'm going to make the question, but tell me a number. Uh -huh. 168 or number nine? Eight. Ah, okay, number eight. Uh, let's see, I'm going to pick uh, Erica. Uh, how often do you cancel a meeting with your friends? Interesting question. Or Guillermo, how often do you cancel meetings with, with your friends? I never cancel a meeting with my friends, teacher. Really? Are you sure that you yeah. never cancel a meeting with your friends? Yeah, because the meeting is uh, every weekend on night. <laughs> at, at night. At night, sorry. Y es en la noche, don't worry, está bien. Pero si se refiere a cualquier cosa que sea de noche, is at, 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 at night. At night. At night, yes. Si es en la mañana, decimos. Yes, at these times, yes, I cancel. I cancel most must meetings but in but at night but never, at night no cancel i never cancel meeting okay. i never cancel very good okay very good that's it uh next number next number we are about to finish next next six number six uh six okay question can you read it how often do you watch soap operas Soap operas, what is a soap opera? You know? Soap operas. Um, Mariela Novela. Uh, Turcas, let's see, um, I don't know, La Reina del Sur, etc. Those are soap operas. Esas son soap operas. But I never, I never watch soap operas. But me and you, guys? No. How often do you watch <laughs> soap operas and you? Uh, basically, never, the girls, Susana, Carmen. I never watch. Okay, you never. Okay, good. Susana, Carmen, all the time, always, always watching. Um, sometimes. Complete, 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 complete. <laughs> ah, um, remember the rule. Hay que practicar completo el inglés. I. Sometimes. I sometimes watch soap opera. Correct. All right. Uh, okay, let's pick number one. Can you read it? How often do you visit your family? Uh, let's see. I readily, I readily visit my family. I readily. Readily is another frequency. Check. Yes, I readily. You can check it in the tool. That's why the tool is pretty important. And uh, check is adverb. Adverb. Uh, pronunciation. Rarely. Rarely. Repeat it. Rarely. 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 Rarely, correct. Okay, <laughs> that's it. 
All right, let's see. Uh, final number. What is the final? The last number is number nine. nine. Question. How often do your children eat fish? Uh, I don't have children. No children. Zero children. And your children? How often do they yeah. eat fish? My children eat uh, twice uh, twice for a week for a, for a week. Okay, eat, pretty cool. Pretty cool. My children eat try uh, eat. It my tries children. for a week, yeah. My children's children's eat. no is uh, my children. My children eat my children eat a twice eat. twice for a week. Twice twice for a week. But what do they eat? Que comen? Chicken fish. fish. Ah, eat fish. Don't forget the, the word. Okay. Yeah. Good. Uh -huh. Okay, but it's fine. It's fine. It's not bien. My children eat fish twice a week. Okay, pretty good. See, twice a week is time expression. Very good. Guys, uh, let me see. Do we have anything else pending? Okay, guys, attention. Just one minute. Those links are for you to practice this topic about hours of frequency. Please practice with them and then go to the platform to develop the exercises. Okay, we have this pending, but this is not a big, uh, a big topic. We can review it quickly tomorrow. All right, guys, thank you for joining to the class. I appreciate uh, your participation in the class. Thank you. Have a good day. See you tomorrow, Thursday. Class number See you, teacher. Bye. Good night, teacher. Good night, Good night teacher. Good night, teacher. Bye. Bye. Good night. Thank you. Bye, teacher. Thank you. Bye, bye. See you tomorrow. Good night. <coughs>